Yo, how are you? Oh no. How are what you? What am I doing? I'm good, mate. <laughs> how are you? Right, let's stop. Yeah, it's great. So, cool. what, how many camera angles do you have? Um, two. So I've got my um, cranky Canon. I don't know if you can see it, but it's over there. So I call it the cranky. Oh, I see. Yeah. You got a shot of. Yeah. What's yeah. your documentary about about New York? Yeah, so let's start. Um, I, you know, my question list on the on on the on the right. So let's start. Um, thanks for joining me for this conversation. Thing about my documentary plan, it's going to be cool. So I'm planning to make a documentary, and I've chosen to do a subgenre of a poetic one, which is completely different to what I normally do. So I gather you're a creative media student. So I'd really value your different opinions on what I'm going to create. Uh, hang on, there we go. Right. So to begin with, what would you say are the key elements of a poet of a poetic documentary? Oh, hmm. well, I guess it's I guess that you got to really convey a story or a meaning through just simply imagery, really. So I guess, for example, if you want to make a poetic documentary on water. You know, you could like show like waterfalls, um, you know, water being clean, literally anything to do with water. Yeah. You know, you could, I guess, if to make it more, probably more clearer. So, you know, like the life cycle of how water is reused in our country. Yes. Like, it, it, you know, before, before it gets to us, it goes, it travels, it travels from the cleaning plant. Yeah. through the pipes to a house yeah then a lot of our water gets reused yeah. so it goes down the drain back to the <laughs> back to the cleaning plant you can see there's a you can make a poetic documentary of that because it'd be very easy because it's very what they call it um it got, the story will go around in a circle so yeah. you can you can and you could educate and teach people just by imagery how the life cycle of water so yeah. and that's just imagery you don't even need to say anything about it because it says it for itself yeah. that's and what's one important thing about uh, <laughs> documentaries it's yeah. reciprocal that's the word st sorry i was looking for i think yeah cool so uh what are the specific strengths of the poetic format do you think it affects you know the audiences in a different way to and say an investigative documentary well i think that's a very tough question to ask um, i think i think in if you're in, in an investigative documentary mm -hmm. you have to include well you know interviews and there's yeah. some sort of, you got to try have to be precise with your narrative arc which you're trying to say which yeah. you researched yeah. So you've got to have like you would expect to see here, um, uh, you know, like na narration, interviews, yeah. archived footage, and uh, I don't know, like probably like some quotes backing up or something like, and documentation behind you. You got to, you got to show, but for a poetic documentary, if it's all visual, you really have to think about about what if, if that shot conveys what you want to say so your documentary right jamie is about new york yeah so what are you trying to say with the new york documentary that like, what's the most it's just about like getting away from all this you know corona stuff and going back to what you know life was like but like in a different city but via photos and music and not necessarily you know a structured thing Say. So you, what you have to do is convey a time capsule. Yeah. Um, I, I think I think like something like showing the day in the life of New York, yeah. like on a beautiful day. Yeah. It can be shown very well through imagery. You have to you you really have to do that. It starts in the morning and ends at night to re really sort of like you know you got to have a flowed structure with imagery like that. Yeah. And with it's what's really interesting about New York that it's a it's a very cultured place. You could 
you know, you could probably, if you have footages of like art, people enjoying art and everything else like that, then you got like the, 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 the amazing um, uh, monuments which, you know, which people associate with New York and people being happy around them is, yeah. I think you've got to really, if you, you've got to show a lot of happiness. Yeah. That's, that's, that'd be the most benefit out of your poetic documentary is happiness and yeah. very memorable scenes from a, a morning to an evening. Yeah, I mean, I view New York as like a heavily focused story telling country because I mean there's so many you know very famous monuments and buildings that can be turned into a documentary itself really and the people as well cool that's a great but answer can't, but you've got to remember I don't think you're trying to catch New York as a wide as as a wide angle yeah. not as close up yeah because there's so much in the stories in New York yeah. So you got to you got to sort of like treat it like kind of a tr like some sort of like travel advert, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. With a poetic documentary, what specific challenges does it pose for a filmmaker? Oh. Um. Oh. <laughs> well, I never <laughs> made an, a poetic documentary, but like as I said it's if you really have to convey the imagery of anything yeah could you wait repeat that question one more time i just okay. want to um with that power oh, god damn with a poetic documentary what specific challenges does it pose for a filmmaker for, for the filmmaker just i guess capturing the environment and the life really the most important part and making it also visually pleasing and make sure every thing every shot has a purpose you yeah. can't you you i don't well you know i don't think having loads of photos of videos of bridges or something like that then randomly have a shot of someone juggling it's not really you know it, it kind of for the audience i think that's a bit like what why yeah, it doesn't. You got to keep on topic. Yeah, it doesn't connect narratively. Um, and the same question, but with the audience in mind, what challenges are there for them? What challenges are there for the audiences? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Of course. I guess for poetic documentary, as it's all visual, there has to be an element of sound, but actually feeling being there. It, it, you know, I think, I think you have to really, considering New York as a place of culture, you've got like so many different types of music which came out there. You probably need fear. You probably probably want some find out some interest. It'd be good to get some nice quotes i guess and and which is about new york yeah. and putting it in a good light yeah and list and every like i guess like big band music because like new york is a a place of jazz and you got the new york i think no, no you know you, you got you certainly got well greenwich village which was a like some sort of like you know a lot, a lot of music movements happened there, so you you got to really associate the history, in the music of the history, and and link it with the visuals somehow. Yeah, to so, keep the audience engaged and get a, a rough idea of what New York is like to be. Yeah, fair point. Yeah, um, in your opinion, what would be a typical audience for the style? Like, what would well, be like specific audience for this star well considering it's trying to be having some sort of nostalgia of a life we don't have at the moment i think that the audience is quite large yeah really like doing a, a, a stress-free uh no social distant time which everybody remembers and fondly of at the moment i think I think there's probably quite a large audience for that. Yeah. Um, I would say 
I guess if you were trying to be in poetic documentaries, or I think poetic documentaries not targeted on the, on this sort of top topic yeah. probably may appeal to more avant-garde audiences. Maybe I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I could say that, yeah. Like, uh, it's just what it's just depending what the um the the documentary is trying to say, really. And that's where you find your target audience. But I think poet is something a poetic documentary is interpretive as well. A lot, quite, quite a few of them are interpretive. Yeah. And some are quite literate. Some are quite literal. Yeah. So yeah. just depending your topic matter, really, su subject matter, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Speak English, Nikki. Yeah, true. Uh, so do you think the audience is pretty niche that it's mostly filmmakers and industry people who'd be interested in this uh, style of documentary or would it or would it expand with more people being interested? I don't think I don't think it's be I don't think it's niche. Oh yeah I maybe uh, I guess like poetic documentaries like I guess, like old-fashioned ones and really old ones from like probably more than 50 years old maybe um might be more might be interesting to more appeal to more filmmakers because well it, it, it's a tech it's a you know it's a, a tool a technique yeah. which most i guess filmmakers don't do very often yeah uh i I don't. I, I think. I think. I think people probably would associate. They pro, to an average audience. I would have thought a poetic documentary, if it's just have a series of shots, of, yeah. of time passing by, uh, many things happening. It could be considered as a, as a montage. Maybe I'm not sure. Yeah. Do you think? What do you think about? Yeah, that could work. I think yeah, with like with, with like all the different light sources and different uh, buildings and objects. Yeah, that could be good. Yeah. So in terms of distribution, this is my favorite one. Do you agree? Poetic documentary should suit a festival setting, like 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 the British Documentary Film Festival and the London Short Film Festival, or should it be like somewhere else? Well, yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah, I think I think I think I think I think most people who would go to uh, see poetic documentaries are more inclined. May, mo maybe the type of audience would like to go and see go to film festivals and cinema viewings of documentaries, films, and everything like that. I think I think people if people sort of sorry. If the average person saw it, I think it'd probably be on somewhere like YouTube and they'd be like, oh, I remember what it was like going back to New York. Oh, <laughs> and I'm stuck at home. Yeah. Um, any other thoughts on poetic documentaries? Um, well, I guess that, I guess that, I, I, don't, I don't know, I don't, my extended thoughts are probably more like on the realms of, you know, keep it visual, keep, just keep it visual, really. Yeah. Make sure it's visually pleasing. Make sure it's trying to, make sure every shot is saying something. Treat it as more of a, you probably have to treat it as a silent film, yeah. if anything else. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. Pro don't, if, make sure, if there was, I don't think it probably would have any dialogue, would it? Poetic mm -hmm. documentaries. I, maybe some, but not that, you know. Not that they, it, I they, certainly would have thought, considering if it's New York, you can have a lot of talking and, and like people walking down the street and yeah, and I think like key, I think yeah. yeah, I think it'd be a lot more. The sound would probably be more focused on ambient. Yeah, and you just have to really capture the personality of New York. Yeah, you first probably what you know like how humans make a judgment on somebody about within the seventh first second second you know the first seven seconds yeah. i think you you've really got to make your opening yeah quite think, special yeah i think really. the opening is key 
then yeah i feel like probably like a shot of the either the skyline on the sunset then fades yeah. into black or something or I, as a beginning like you got to really romanticize new york you know you need that i think you've got to have a shot of like li- the, the statue of liberty the beginning because i think that's the most people think the most thing which people will su- associate as a good introduction to I guess to New York and take it from films like regular films you will probably see you know like the, the distance of the city or they show the Statue of Liberty beginning but actually going into the actual city the heart the, the culture the people whatever's going to happen in the film yeah you got to reset the setting yeah yeah sounds good yeah Cool, cool. Uh, thanks for your time. Really appreciate it. It's been really cool doing this. You're right, man. Yeah. Take care. You too, man. See you later, bro. Bye. Bye. Peace and love.